welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the cancer sun moon and rising sign okay cancers okay so this is this is the last week of august 2019 and the week begins from 26 until the first i want to say um thank you for returning you cancers and um i want to say to you cancers also go back and check out the reading for the month of august this year 2019 and the reading for August 2018 to see which one of the readings affect you because what is happening is that some people are realizing that the reading a year or two years ago is affecting them now so it is good for you to return and check out to see if uh, um, the reading for August this um, year affects you okay uh, on demand is a dollar ninety nine. Go check out the on demand because the on demand has extra um, information that was not said in the, the general readings because those the free readings on YouTube. There's an extra reading that um, goes for forty five minutes. Go and um, order the on demand. They're always online. They will never be um, removed. Okay, so order your on demand reading to see what is happening and what is transpiring. Okay, so we have some energy that came out for you guys. Let's see what is the central. The central is all about love. It's all about connecting with another person. However way you're going to be connecting, we're going to be seeing what exactly is, uh, is happening. So this is all about love for um, you, um, pi uh, you cancers in this week. Then we see that some of you are... Um, this is the scent of some of you um, are going to be meeting someone on the work floor or some of you are going to be connecting um, to work together with someone okay so someone you could be coming in or you're going to be meeting um, or having a relationship on the work floor which yes 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 okay ladies and gentlemen I can't do but there is going to be some conflicts if you are having a relationship on the work floor there is definitely going to be some conflicts I'm telling you this ladies and gentlemen there are some conflicts with people who are having relationship on the work floor you can see this coming in your wishes and dreams are going to be coming in with your work a lot of people are going to be appreciating what is happening for you some of you are trying to find inner strength to deal with the conflicts about money that is going on and you're walking away you're turning your back and you're walking away so some of you could be dealing with a Leo or a Sagittarius or an Ophiosis person you're trying to find in a um, in a a strength to deal with these people because of whatever the situation is is definitely a conflict it could be also um, this conflicts has to do with um, could be um, between you and your partner but it could be between you and someone else there is conflicts I'm seeing money coming in and I'm seeing some of you receiving some money um, from people who you were working together with it's as if they need to pay you because they have used your information and they need to pay you um what I'm also seeing here is that your wishes and dreams about someone who you are in love with is going to come out okay so what is transpiring is that some of you um, were in love with someone and you have never told them and they walked away and you're having regrets but somehow miraculous something is going to be working out that you are going to be able to let them know how you felt about them I'm seeing collaborations people wants to collaborate with each other if you do that especially with work it's going to be working not relationship but business wise it's going to be working okay I okay so some of you are having conflicts with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person this is a man 45 years and older this could be a businessman for some of you or this could be your father but there is conflicts over money with this person there's definitely conflicts over money with this person 
the truth about your work some of you are going to be finding out that others are getting more paid than you are it's like you felt it and you're going to be finding out that it is true you're going to be finding out that someone has been skimming off your business but they're going to be caught and bring to justice they have to pay you some of you your wishes and dreams are going to be coming out about a work situation and you're trying to make a decision what it is you want to do how you're going to be doing this connection some of you have some regrets about an and an, a love some of you have some regrets about a love it's like it's a bittersweet it's as if you were so in love with this person you never get a chance to let this person know and this person as uh, is gone and this is a um, is a Capricorn it is a Capricorn you really have some regrets you're trying to decide whether or not you should tell this person it's as if you had something good in your hands um, whoever this person is it's as if you had something good in your hands it is a Capricorn and this Capricorn person you were in love with this person you thought the world of this person but you did not you play the fool and this person walked away I'm seeing you trying to find inner strength to deal with um, either a boss or people in an or, or, or authority I'm seeing you trying to find inner strength to deal with a boss or people in authority you are having conflicts with either your boss or people in authority okay you're carrying some burden for someone okay um, you're trying to find inner strength and carrying some burden for someone and it has to do with someone that walks away there is no one else like this person this is what you're saying there is no one else like this person but it is a decision that you had to make and you're wondering if it's too late you're there thinking is it too late should I shouldn't I not tell this person how I feel because I feel that this is the love of my life but what has transpired is that this person walked away they walked away because it was a sense that they thought that you had someone else or you thought that they had someone else so basically um, there was a miscommunication and a miscommunication comes because someone else had some influence from outside influence okay and some of you was in a relationship or is married to an Aries and this Aries has something to do with the influence of what happened in the relationship here it is here it is now you're knowing the truth why you and that person break up so you were seeing this person for quite some time and you felt the happiest in your entire life but what has transpired is that um, what has transpired is that your wife or your partner if you were with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius they found out about it and whatever they did by using negative energy to make sure that you two um, release from each other and this is not the person who you should be with this is an Aries person you feel as if you're carrying the whole burden on your shoulder with this person because this is an Aries person and it's as if you feel as if you're always in conflicts with this person you feel as if you're carrying the whole um, burden on your shoulder with this person and now you're finding out that 
whoever the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn was it is more of a Capricorn for some of you that that is the love of your life that is the person who you want to be with that is the person that makes you happy that is the person that makes you happy but here there was a situation where you thought that the person was seeing someone and the person thought that there was a third party but you were already married so think about it whoever this is for out there okay because some of you were definitely dealing with either a Taurus or a Capricorn it can be a Taurus or a Capricorn that some of you were dealing with and there was love between you and this person you felt happy with this person this person was your own world but there is a judgment called because this person has relocate and you're feeling a sense of God why didn't I just say to this person you know and you want to reconnect with this person but you are you're kind of mm, I don't know if this person I don't know okay some of you have to make decision about work and you're trying to figure out do I want to work with someone or don't I want to work with someone um and you're thinking you're reconsidering you're, you know you don't need to make the decision in this week I, you really don't um, some of you are having issues with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man there's some conflicts with money your intuition was right about this person whoever this person is this your intuition was right about this person and money so you're having some conflicts with this person whoever this person is there is some conflicts between you and this person so there's a there's there's like an old lot that is going on but the, the the week is centered on you and your partner okay so there could be some issues between you and your partner where you're thinking oh um, you know my partner is seeing someone else but that's not that's not it and if you don't stop this person is gonna walk away from you so for some of you that is what is coming out um, the weirdest thing is that some of you an ex could be coming back because you're happy unexpected breakthroughs an ex could be coming back um, because uh, because there's a nine of cups where happiness and joy is there okay um, remember to go back and see if the month of August reading what happens for you guys in the month of August reading 2019 check out the August reading 2018 to see what is happening um, if the same effect and um, for more extension and more information check out also um, the on demand okay because that is good that is going to be helping a lot of you autumn autumn in the fall season everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvest of abundance okay so this is beautiful this is wonderful so in the autumn season um, everything is going to come together whatever you want this is the time and you can search or like the Capricorns because the Capricorn the autumn season is also the time for the Capricorns you're the, the Capricorns opposite side so um, they're going to give you some luck in the autumn season okay so I want to say thank you for being here namaste until next time